Hey, what's up there guys? Corey with Gotta Be Mobile and the Galaxy Note 9. Today we're gonna give you a quick look at how to use the mobile hotspot, Wi-Fi hotspot, tethering, all those features on your phone. Now, for those who don't know, using your Galaxy Note 9 as a mobile hotspot allows you to use the internet connection from AT&T or Verizon or T-Mobile, wherever you use, and send that wireless signal to your tablet or your laptop or your Nintendo Switch, basically turning your phone into a wireless internet connection like you would get at home or at Starbucks or anything. This is great for while you're traveling or for work, and there's a lot of reasons to use a you know wireless hotspot, but we're gonna show you how to set it up so you can use your Galaxy Note 9 to connect your other devices to the internet. So it's super simple. Go ahead and head into settings. At the very top, tap on connections. And in here, down about halfway, you see mobile hotspot and tethering. And once you come in here, you'll get to that default mobile hotspot settings. And you can quickly just hit the button to turn it on. But before you do that, click it first and you come into this kind of settings screen. And from here, you can change the name. I changed it to My Note 9. That's how I know when I'm on my you know, computer looking at all the wireless signals, which one to connect to um, being the Note 9. Then you'd like to you know, change your passwords. Obviously kind of a good idea. It will give you a default one, but it's difficult to remember and confusing. So change that to something, change the name, and then you can tap on again, and you'll see this in the top corner. That is how I know that mobile hotspot or tethering is on and active. So now simply get on your laptop, or your tablet, or Nintendo Switch, or any other device, and go to the wireless settings and click on Wi-Fi. And just like you connect to your home internet, connect to the Galaxy Note 9. You get the same fast internet speed you get at home, anywhere on the go, as long as you have the hotspot feature on. Of course, your carrier must you know, have this as an option, so if you have an unlimited plan or whatnot, check with Verizon or T-Mobile, wherever you have, to make sure you have hotspot features, um, or that you don't go over your data plan, because you, know, you can churn through your data plan pretty fast, you know, your monthly limit, using this. And then, of course, it'll show you what devices are connected here, so if you're ever wondering you know, what's going on, that's another way to do it. So you can also configure a couple other things, like the timeout settings, that's so like if you're not using this feature you want to turn it off after 10 minutes it'll turn off on its own otherwise it's just sitting there sending the signal you know out into the world and it'll drain your battery pretty quick so once you're done using the hotspot this will automatically shut it off and then finally here we're going to show you a quick way to just instantly access it so pull down the notification bar twice and right here you see mobile hotspot that is instantly right there for me to turn on and turn off my mobile hotspot feature. So pull down the notification bar, tap these three dots and change the button order. And this way you can kind of customize these quick setting icons. And I put mine up here instead of way down below. That way it's very easy for me to just tap on wireless, you know, hotspot from there. But that's it guys, quick, very simple video on using that feature on your phone. You can also come in here go to hotspot and tethering and use USB tethering. And that's basically the USB type C port on the bottom. So instead of a wireless connection, it's wired. It is maybe a little faster and a little more secure, but it's also kind of tedious. And a lot of carriers don't allow that either. So use the wireless you know, mobile hotspot feature, connect to you know, all your devices to your Note 9 when you need to. And that's it guys, simple. But uh, appreciate it, thanks for watching. Stay tuned for similar videos and we'll see you next time.